Let's get back to this. There's nothing here. This is room 206, the computer lab. As we approach, we hear the clattering of a keyboard. Someone's still here. You see, is that you? Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, this was the deep rough one, wasn't it? Okay. Shush. Missy, Missy, short for Melissa, is the computer science representative of our club. She is normally a cheerful and bubbly girl, but she's scowling at her monitor and stabbing the keys. She may be up to something important. Perhaps she's discovered a way to fight the monsters. What have you found? A purple worm. Where? In the corridor around the corner. Okay, everyone, get ready. We'll attack it together. Huh? You can't do that. What do you mean? This is not a multiplayer game. Game? Oh, good lord. Rogue. Oh, I love that game. <laughs> yeah. We crowd around to look at her computer screen. She's not looking at the school at all. Nothing but a bunch of lines, dots, and letters. Oh, she's playing NetHack? Mm, yeah, I suppose it could be NetHack. Missy, do you even do you even know what's going on here? Um, I'm late for science club again. The school was invaded by giant alien plant monsters. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll just finish my game and come to the meeting. She's not joking, see? There really are monsters. Even the teachers have been running around and screaming. How did you not notice? Um, what's that behind you? Are you trying to change? Oh dear, the voices are all merging into one. Are you trying to change the subject? No, really. Look. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Missy's part of the team. Perhaps we'll swap her out for someone. But in the meantime, slap. These guys don't do much damage, so we're not too worried about them. Uh, let's try a nerf pinch month, so I, I've got to try a nerf pinch. Alright. Didn't stun, but never mind. Good lord, these guys do have a lot of hit points, don't they? Yeah, I think they're supposed to sound like Japanese schoolgirls. But I've got to be honest with you, if Japanese girls sounded like this, there wouldn't be the next generation of Japanese people. I've got to be honest. Right, Heather is in a bad way, so let's swap Heather out. With Missy or Nicole. Let's try Missy out. Let's see what Missy's like. Sweep. Physically attack an enemy. Hide behind your hands. Oh, very nice. And your special is... Oh, risk analysis. Interesting. Let's have a look at that. Grassy Knoll. Hit points 20. Okay. So we now know how much damage we need to do to it. And let's do some first aid on Heather. Yeah, that's bad. She's got back in a fight a little bit. Oh dear, that's a lot of damage these things do. Uh. Okay. Alright, Missy's in a bad way, so punch. There we go, let's got rid of that. Okay, Nicole and Missy have leveled up. And they've learned, and uh, Nicole's learned Fireball, and Missy has learned Spam. <laughs> Chelsea, okay, you should study for your chemistry final. Right? I love that you're here, but please don't 
mess things up by uh, not studying, okay? Alright, so Nicole. Fireball! Targets all enemies, fire damage. Oh, that is nice. That is going to cost a lot of spell points, mind. And she doesn't have much. Let's open up low, uh, Razor Special a bit. There we go. Alright, so now she's got a bit more spell points. And what does Spam do? Oh, okay. Costs 4 spell points, does 0 to 2 damage 8 times. Interesting. Risk analysis. Okay, so we. Okay, let's put a point in that because that's going to give us more information. That looks good. What are we playing after? I will be playing some Agrarian Skies after this. Spam can be do dodged or blocked. Yes, it can. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, the fact it's going to do zero damage is a bit of a worry there. Oh, we've still got some points left. Uh, okay, let's put another one in there, and let's put one in there. Okay, that'll give her a bit more spell points as well. Yeah, it's looking a bit better. Alrighty, so let's have a quick look here while we're here. Pizza is looking fairly solid. Jennifer is going to need some healing up. Well, actually some defense to get her spell points up, but apart from that, we'll swap around next fight, I think. Return... let's go here. Uh... We wanted Missy, didn't we? Mm, let's go to the hallway. Let's just go here. This is the bridge connecting the school to the junior school. There are puddles of green ooze on the floor. You should ask... Oh, it's Andrea we wanted. The puddle of slime fizzes slightly around the edge. Okay, so where's... we're after our sixth science girl by the looks of it. Let's go down. Everyone be ready! For what? Every time we go downstairs, we get attacked by monsters. <laughs> Watching this game suddenly dancing flowers on TV. Oh dear. Hey, but there's nothing here. Don't say that, you'll jinx it. We'll be fine. This is the first wall floor east stairwell. There is nothing here. You see, you just have to think positively. Okay, different type of room here. Uh, let's go in here. This is the gymnasium. We hear the sound of bouncing balls. Say it's odd. Hey! Ah, stealth thingies. Okay, so the people we want here are both actually in the back row, so I need to swap some people out. Um, yeah, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Um, Okay, I'm going to swap out Heather for... Uh, uh, to swap out Pizza for Heather. And then Heather can use her better slingshot. Yeah, we go. We got rid of some of the uh, the illusions there. That's good. And I want to swap out uh, her because she's getting a little bit low on spell points. And I want to swap with Nicole because she has a nice area effect spell now. Yeah, doing the damage. And also want to do a risk analysis. So we don't learn a little bit about these guys. Okay, so Stealth Ball 2, type Stealth Ball, hit points 23, special attacks mirror. So I think we pretty much know everything we need to know about these guys now. Which is good. Slap! Oh, looks like that one had a little bit more hit points left over. Um special No. Jab. Take that one out. Oh, didn't do enough damage. Sweep. Uh, let's take one out if we can. There we go. Gone. Slap. Okay, so we now no longer know which one is the illusion. Let's just see if we can get rid of some of it. There, we've got rid of that. Sweep. Yep. Yeah. And 
slap. Okay, that was definitely a real one. Nice. Alright, Heather's gained another spell, learned Egg Cage. Our character's name makes me want to eat pizza, but I have none. Oh dear. That's a, that's a bad place to be in, really, isn't it? Now, how do we need... Does anyone need any serious attention? No, I don't think so. Uh, Heather... Okay, what's Egg Cage do? Protects against two damage, reduces further damage by 10%. That's not bad, is it? A bit expensive. And she doesn't have much spell points. So there we go. That's upper special. Okay, so now she's got a bit more in the way of spell points. Calling her spell points now, aren't I? Um, Jennifer could use some all-round healing. No, let's save our stuff. Okay, return. The name to Baby Butty Bunny Butterscotch. Oh, is sweet. This is the East Locker Room. Some of the locker doors are dented, some are hanging open. Oh no, a banana spider. These things are annoying. Alright, special. No, don't want any of that stuff. Actually, do we want you in the, uh, the group at the moment? Uh, who would be better to have? Let's have pizza up front. Okay, so... Special... No, it's just punch. Okay, and your specials are lightning and fireball. Let's chuck a lightning bolt at it. do a risk analysis. Okay, so nothing special there except for it does will soak up a bit of damage. Okay, fair enough. And of course poisons everyone. But we'll take it out this round. There we go. Job done. Beam keeps freezing. Is anyone else having that problem? Go here. We move between the lockers heading towards the school's main entrance. Suddenly Heather sticks out her arms to block our progress. I think I hear something I do. A beastly noise echoes through the locker rooms. Heather pulls some lenses from her pockets and holds them in front of her glasses like a mini binoculars. <laughs> Sorry, Mega Racer. There's something big out there. Really big. Whatever the thing is, it sounds like we'll need the whole club to fight it. We should find Andrea first. Okay, let's go up here. This is the cafeteria. There is loose salt all over the floor. Andrea, are you here? There's no response. I wonder where she went. Found an orange. Excellent. Healing item. Let's go here. Entering the locker room, we finally spot a familiar face. Unfortunately, it's been nailed to the wall. Andrea, there you are. Andrea is the chemistry representative of the science club. She's about the same age as the rest of us, and she hates being teased about her height. Hmm, what voice should we give her? Hmm. She's not saying anything. Oh, good. That's strange. Usually, Andrea talks a mile a minute. Are you okay? No response. She just stands there, staring blankly into the space between two rows of lockers. I don't like this, see? Something's not right, come on. We charge past Andrea and encounter two mind worms. Ah! They've hit the top. Oh dear, this is gonna get bad fast, isn't it? Alright, special fireball.
Okay, this is going to get painful fast. I think we're going to need a healer up front. Um, I'm going to swap out... Hold on a sec. No, we don't have the healer up front. Um, let's swap out... Her for... Jennifer. Jennifer does a, bit, a fair bit of damage anyway. And we'll kick the mine room. And special... Let's use up our mana. Oh, we've used up our mana. Uh, let's swap you out. Swap you for Heather. Special. No, let's just uh, actually let's use it. Let's just slap the thing. Okay, let's slap it. There we go. Ah, some of these you learned how to use colours. All right, slap. There we go, job done. Okay, what sort of voice we use here? Hey, Ma. Whew. She blinks a few times. Huh, what happened? Where did you guys come from? You weren't here a minute ago. You're okay. She hugs the smaller girl. You got brainwashed by a giant worm you did. I don't remember being brainwashed, but I guess I wouldn't, would I? I was in the cafeteria and I found a nickel that was stuck to the floor. Stuck really hard. I was trying to figure out if it was glued or not. Then, then, there was all this noise and these big green things rolled past the door. So I went to see what was going on, and all of a sudden I was attacked by carrots. It was like a horrible salad bar revenge, except without the dressing. So I fought them off with the salt shakers, but I ran out of salt, so I went to my locker to get my chemistry kit. But then I saw something shiny and I turned to look at it, and the next thing I knew, there you are. Did you see where the monsters come from? Well, from all the noise, I think they came in the front door and then started banging on the lockers. Not all the lockers, just some of the lockers. I have a nasty feeling that uh, the whole mobile phone theory may be correct. They didn't do anything to my locker, which is good, because if they'd broken my chemistry kit, there would have been a big mess. Why would... <clears throat> Why would monsters want to break into lockers? Do you think they really were looking for cell phones? It was paintbrushes they took. Uh, <clears throat> it was paintbrushes they took from the art room, not phones. And they didn't bother Missy in the computer lab at all. And there were lots of phones in there. It's a mystery. Well, thanks for saving me from those worms. Now I'm ready to fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, special powers: poison and a stink bomb. This one's going to be interesting. I think this is the chemist. So let's have a quick look at her. Right. Okay, slide, standard attack damage, poison, does a little bit of damage, but has some good ongoing attacks, and stink bomb is a nice damage attack by the looks of it. So let's put a point in there. Let's put a point in there. And I'll tell you what, let's put a point in there as well. Let's, let's make her our spellcaster. Andrea, science chemistry likes donuts, fireworks, and monkeys. Who doesn't like those? Never eaten a monkey donut, but I should imagine they're delicious. Okay, so how are we looking at our guys here? While we're here, pizza needs some healing. Uh, we got an orange. Eight hit points and three spell points. That'll do nicely. There you go, that's got her up a bit. Alrighty. Well, actually, while I'm thinking about it, got a long way through the game. Let's save it quickly, shall we? Okay, and return. Right, so we could go there, or we can go and look at the um, at the slime. What do you guys think? What would you rather do? So go and see the slime, or go and see what the big noise is at the front of the school.
No, I don't think your internet is correct, please. Hallway of slime. The noise. Um. Okay, I think the people are saying the question mark place are saying that go for the noise. So it looks like most people are saying noise. Let's go with the noise. I have a nasty feeling that's the final boss, which is going to be a bad, bad thing to do. But let's go and find out. Somewhere ahead of us, a giant monster lurks. Are we ready to face it? I've saved. Should we give it a try? Yes or no? Melody says not yet. And everyone, in fact, everyone says not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Let's go and have a look at the slime. Go up. We're attacked by a spitting slurp and a pair of slurps. And we're going to give them a slurp slap. Uh, slurp one. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Who do we want in this? Who do we want in this? Who do we want in this? Um, some area attack spells would be good. So let's let's swap our healer out for Nicole, who's a good area attack specialist uh, who doesn't have any spell points at the moment. So that was a bad idea of mine. Let's swap her out for. Let's see what Andrea can do. Special. Um, okay, there's a good area attack one. Nice. And, oh, they didn't look poisoned, unfortunately, unless they don't show the same one. Sweep. There we go, let's get rid of that one. So this guy's bred once, so she's not... Well, she's probably got one more breed left. Alright, so why don't you do a specials? Don't need any of that. Um, defend. Okay, and she's bred again. Excellent. Uh, sweep. Uh, against, let's do that one. Just get rid of that. And you can get rid of everything, I think. Nice. And looks like you're defending again. Okay, so. Let's do a risk analysis on the spitting slurp. I think we know everything about them, but let's get it anyway. 70, okay, so lots of hit points. Sly, no, actually, let's try something special. Poison. Alright, excellent, so we poisoned it, that's brilliant. Yeah. Why is she hiding her eyes? That's how she defend, that's how the girls defend, okay? They, they, they hide their eyes. So if they can't see the monsters, the monsters can't hurt them as much. Uh, no, let's do a slap. Because she does, she does do a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, okay. And. Yeah. Oh, actually, thinking about this reminds me, a bit late to the game said she couldn't make the live stream tonight, which you've probably already noticed, but uh, asked to send um, her apologies and regards to everyone. So there we go, that's done. The slap. Must be near to death by now. Yeah. Heather could use a bit of healing by the looks of it. Uh, in fact, let's do that. Let's swap out for Jennifer and special bit of first aid on Heather there. Brilliant! Slide with it. Right. Yeah. 
Let's take that thing out because it's annoying me. There we go, that's good. Still alive. It must be barely alive at this point. Finally! Good lord. Okay, so, right, everyone's up to level 4 now, I've noticed. That's good. Alright. Second floor to the hallway. To the hallway! Um, uh, here. This is the bridge connecting the school to the junior school. There are puddles of green ooze on the floor. The floor's covered in acid. What can we do about it? Acid's easy to neutralize. All we have to do is pour a base into it. If it's really acid, that is. It might be a base itself, and then we need to pour acid onto it instead. Either way, there should be plenty of vinegar and baking soda in the cafeteria. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, that's a weird sound coming from anyone, I'd have thought. Andrea pulls a couple of test tubes out of her chemistry kit. What are you doing? Checking to see if it's acid or not. Shouldn't you be careful? What if it's poisonous? The vapors probably aren't that bad, or we'd already be feeling sick or dead or something. Andrea swats, squats by the puddle and pours a tiny bit of fluid from a tube onto the edge of the slime. Nothing happens. It's not acid, or would have reacted when I poured ammonia in. Oh, so we can walk through it safely? I didn't say that. I said that it's not acid. It's still corroding the floor. She pours a little of the other tube's contents into the puddle, a little ways from where she poured the first in. It bubbles violently, droplets splashing her hand as she flinches back. Andrea, yeah. She hurriedly pours the rest of the test tube's contents over her hand. Are you okay? I think so. Luckily, the acid I was using to test wasn't very strong, so I could just pour it onto myself and neutralize the slime. But the slime is a very, very strong base. We don't want to walk through it. It would dissolve our shoes and splash on us and generally be a very bad thing. These shoes are new, you know. Anyhow, I don't have enough acid to neutralize these puddles. You guys should go to the cafeteria and pick up some more. You guys? Aren't you coming? No, I can make it around the next couple of puddles if I'm careful and I want to get samples of them to study. Okay, should we go to get some acid? I think we should go and get some acid. We have that that will fight the boss monster, so let's go do that. Yay! But what if the fumes poison you? Okay, leave someone with me, and if I start to look dizzy, you can carry me back to the hall and get some air. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to leave Missy behind. And... Can you guys remember what we need to get? Is it vinegar or baking soda? 